T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We go for main engine start. We have main engine start and ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of STS-7 and America's first woman astronaut. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. We're celebrating a woman who broke barriers in space and in physics, and who also had a love of wearing Levi's 501 jeans. I'm Tracy Panic, historian at Levi Strauss and & Company and director of our archives. 40 years ago, Sally Ride made history as the first American woman in space. And this year, we celebrate another first, the 150th anniversary of the 501 jean, the Levi's that Sally also loved. In photos of her growing up, you can see her wearing blue jeans. There's one where she's surrounded by her family, and Sally is dressed in a pair of Levi's. Sally was very fortunate to grow up in a stable, loving family, and both of her parents encouraged her interests, whatever they were. They didn't see any barriers to being a girl. So as a kid, she played every sport you can imagine, but ended up focusing on tennis. One of the people that Sally met when she was competing in tennis was Tam O'Shaughnessy, who would later become her lifelong partner of 27 years. She was very smart. And then when she got to college, she really found what she loved. She went to Stanford and got a PhD in English and physics. And in the 1970s, for women studying hard sciences, this was a rarity. Studying physics at Stanford with very few women in her class. She'd walk into a classroom and be surrounded by guys. But she did have one physics professor, and he suddenly says, what are these ladies doing in my class? <laughs> so Sally's response to that was simply to ignore the person and to study extra hard to make sure she did very well. I visited Stanford to see where Sally carved a place for women in physics wearing her favorite 501s. When she was at Stanford, she always wore this certain pair of 501 jeans. They're the best jeans. And Sally loved how they fit her body, how they hugged her body. They weren't too loose, they weren't too tight. They lasted forever. The buttons, you didn't have buttons with thread that would pop off and fly across the room. So they were just so sturdy and so comfortable. While Sally was finishing her PhD, she came across an article about NASA, and for the first time, women would be allowed to apply. There were 8,000 who applied. Only 35 were selected, six of them women, and of course, Sally was one of them. I think she was absolutely amazed that that happened to her. She tried to do everything to make sure that she didn't make a mistake because she was smart enough to realize that the world at that time and maybe even today would hold it against all women and not just Sally. When Sally Ride took her first journey into space, she took a bit of Stanford with her in the form of a banner, just like this one. She was comfortable in her own skin and in her Levi 501s, all beat up and she'd worn them forever. There is a terrific photo of Sally in New Mexico in 1983 at a NASA training. And she's on the far right side and she's dressed in a red t-shirt and a pair of Levi's 501 jeans. That red t-shirt, I'm so excited that we have in the archives. TFNG stood for 35 new guys. That was the number of astronauts in her class when she started training. The 501s that Sally was wearing in that photo sadly are not around anymore, but we made an amazing reproduction to make them look just the way Sally would have worn. By the time she was wearing this, she had worn it so much that the knees were blown out. She loved them and she wore them her whole life. Sally Ride died in 2012 at the age of 61. One of her lasting legacies is her foundation that she co-founded with Tam, Sally Ride Science, which encourages young women and girls to get into science and math. Many people think of Sally as only an astronaut, but she was so much more. She was a physicist, she was a science writer, an athlete, and a champion for science, technology, engineering, and math education for young people.
I would like her to be remembered for all of that. Levi's as a brand represents comfort, quality, and a sense of confidence. Sally Ride represents some of those same values. She was also somebody who was willing to work hard, just like a hard-wearing and lasting pair of Levi's. Thanks for joining me for another episode in the Levi's Archives.